<laughs> I'd like the executive to come and stand up here, if you would, please. No point standing down there, like you to be seen. These are the people who made this uh, project come together from the local committees. You know, we haven't had the best weather of all, but we've certainly had a great week. No matter what the weather's been, we were blessed today, not only with Ray being here, but also with a, a much, much finer day than we had expected. We've had thousands of people here from all over Ontario and beyond this week. We've had over 17,000 students and friends here all week long. They all seemed to have had a great time, and there wasn't one person I spoke to who did not think it was one of the better matches that they had been to, that they liked the organization, they liked the events. They just had a good time. And even on that terrible Tuesday, when it rained so hard, and we had three and a half inches of rain that day, people went home, and I drove them out to the parking lot when their cars were stuck, and they said, we had a great time today. And that didn't really bother them. It bothered me, it didn't bother them. That was really what it's all about. I really enjoyed myself. I love going to Oktoberfest, of course. <laughs> love going to the barn raising, love going to the tractors, the steam shows, seeing the vendors, all of those kinds of things. What I liked most was really the opportunity to make friends through this time that I've worked on this project and the time over this last few days to see friends that I frankly haven't seen for a while who came out to support us in the plowing match and that was a good thing. And really at this point in the, in the game it's all about thank yous and I do have a few that I want to say and one of them of course is to Ray. Ray has shown great courage, stamina, leadership throughout this time period and I think we all respect him for that and for the person that he is. And we certainly thank you for that, Ray. Same thing for uh, uh, Robert McLean. Robert, who stepped in to help out, who will step up at some point in the future. And even the past president, Bob Hamill, who's been a mentor to many of us in the last several years. I can never say enough about these people in the yellow vests up here. Uh, they've become friends, they've become family. Uh, We've met more together probably than I've met with my family <laughs> for at least two years. In fact, I'm not sure who my family is anymore. But i got to say that every single one of them had a huge responsibility and they all took it on seriously and they all performed admirably in ensuring that this event turned out well. And i got to say thanks to all the committee members, many of whom are wearing the yellow vests all through this area here today. And of course, all the volunteers, and we've had over 1,300 of them. I got to say thank you to all our sponsors. You see them out here on the list, and you know this is an expensive venture. If someone was to put a business plan together uh, to do this now, having never done it before, there's no bank on earth who would bankroll this project. It is just not really workable without the sponsors, and they make it happen along with the volunteers. A couple people I want to just mention special thank yous to. One is our lovely Courtney Connors, who I have had just a wonderful year with. She's great to work with, and she's been a terrific ambassador. And I also want to echo Ray's point about Doug Roeder, an unsung hero at this event. He is the chair of the Tent City, essentially manager for this site, along with Paul Cook. And the two of them have put together a solid, safe, and really enjoyable environment here for people. And of course, as I said last night at the banquet, there's no OPA and there's no IPM without Kathy Lasby who's sitting at the back. And once again, Kathy, thank you. So after many years, many months certainly, and a couple of years, we now conclude the 99th anniversary IPM and RE, or Rural Expo. And we'll shortly bring down the flag, which is what I wrote, but I realize we already did that, sorry. We do wish Bert and all of our friends from Perth uh, very good weather and very good results and a safe year next year at the Plowing Match for 2013. Yes, it's the 100th anniversary and I know it will be a great time and many of us will be able to get there because it's so close. So we wish you many successes in your planning and your presentation and I know it will be a great event. We're going to give uh, Bert the flag of the OPA so that he can take that with him as the first step towards opening day next year, which I believe is September the 17th, 2013. So, thank you all for being here, and I'm going to ask Bert to come up and say the final words today. First of all, if I could have the flag, please.
flags, but apparently it's okay I do this. So. <laughs> this is our flag to you, Bert. Thank you very much, Dave, and I too would like to add my congratulations to uh, Dave Piper and his whole crew for the excellent uh, presentation they've made here this past week. I'm really looking forward to the challenge. I know I have uh, quite a few Perth County people out here who are my greatest assets because I know they're going to help be behind me 100%. And I see Blaine down there who happens to be Sarah's boyfriend and uh, he's going to have to realize that we're going to have Sarah most of the time and he's going to have to sit at home alone. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we were really happy that Sarah is here as our queen for 2013 and I'm really looking forward to the challenge of putting on a great plowing match next year. So, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you all next year in Perth County. Thank you.